but as far as the sunshine, if only we can get a little bit more, guys. I don't think anybody would be upset about that. But there's good news uh, for uh, Northeast Ohio this evening. As we look here at the map, I want to show you where a bit of change has happened. This is good change now. We still have uh, Ashtabula under this winter weather advisor until 4 a.m. in the morning, but Cuyahoga County, Lake County, and Geauga County have all since been canceled. That's good news for us. And why is that happening? Well, let me explain. We're starting to work in a little bit more dry air across northeast Ohio. Satellite and radar are still picking up some light snowfall in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but if I put on snow mode, it really hones in on exactly where those snowflakes are falling here, and it's pretty much falling down in that zone, too, that I talked to you about earlier there. Dare down south towards Medina and also Summit County, still up in Geauga County, still some light snow bands beginning to move on through. This is all because we have a very, very cold trough really setting up across the area, and that's really honing in and really bear gripping us in terms of that cold weather that we're still receiving. Teens expected across the evening for overnight tonight. Winds still gusting up to about 30 miles per hour. So this is where our feels like temperatures outside right now are now in the negatives. You can see well inland down towards the south. You can see they're still going to be falling throughout the overnight hours or lakeside, I should say, and down south well inland. They're still going to be falling near the negative degree bark as well. As far as snowfall accumulations, not too much more is expected. Now, what is already on the ground is frozen solid and is likely going to remain frozen solid until about Wednesday that we start to get a break. Still some light lake snows still banding across the region around mid morning. We turn that off. We get more dry air back in. High pressure moves in. And then there comes the sunshine. We'll finally rid ourselves of the cloud cover tomorrow afternoon and work in some more sun peaks. Now we start looking ahead at our next system. Our system that we're watching for this weekend is back towards the north and eastern region of Hawaii. You're wondering how in the world is it going to get here? Well, we have a trough that is going to be digging, and I do mean digging all the way down south right now. This system is going to ride that wave, and it's just going to be like two kids wanting to go down the slide at the same time. One of them is going to get down first, and this is our midweek system still locked up in Canada. You see this trough here? That is going to be the funnel system that takes us through Wednesday, Thursday. We'll have that warm up coming into the region, but that system will skirt right down to the south. I think we can likely squeeze out a few flakes, and then this is the weekend system. The northern plains, even towards the Midwest, this is likely going to be a glob of a system here reaching all the way down into Tennessee. Kentucky likely to get a mix. Depending on Kentucky, wherever you are, you're going to get rain, freezing rain, and then snow. And then we'll have about half of the state uh, locked in with some snowfall. I think we'll squeeze out some, though, on Saturday, and then that'll just about be it. We're still going to be cold, though, through the weekend and heading into early next week. So MLK weekend is still going to, no doubt, be a cold one. Your Union Home Mortgage 10-day, uh, let me show you this. So that is on Tuesday. You can see temperatures tomorrow topping out at about 23, 24, just like today. And then we have warmer conditions coming in by midweek. Back to the other system on Thursday, Friday, taking us back down into the 30s and even 30 sticking around through the heart of next week as well.